Jokers for uh, coming today. Appreciate it. And uh, I was wondering, what, what's been your uh, your latest uh, experience, I guess, doing like gorilla grass, like just popping up somewhere and playing? Latest yeah, experience doing gorilla grass. I mean, when's the last time gorilla grass? When is the last time we gorilla grass? We actually like technically did that. We did that at the jazz festival. Yep. At the Broadmoor. The Broadmoor Jazz Fest. They had us going. They had us playing a jazz festival. <laughs> in, at the Broadmoor with Earl Klug's Jazz Festival, and they had us go from table to table playing music. That was kind of <laughs> fun. Um, yeah. I don't. I can't think of it. I mean, other than that, it's like we've been doing some like just kind of on random occasions when it calls for it. At the end yeah. of our set, we'll just jump out on the floor and maybe play a couple <laughs> at the very end of the night. But yeah, yeah we haven't like. Gorilla, gorilla class. Ed Cater's Ed professor Cater's was more recent. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. great. Double parked the bus. I didn't even get to go in. We were so illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like staying with the bus. Like, oh, this guy's so oh yeah, we walked in. It's scary. Tell the story. Was his name Spencer? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it was Spencer. It was Spencer. Spencer. What, was the, what was the college? Uh, in Cleveland. Uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> yeah. So there's this college in Cleveland. <laughs> so there's Case this college Western. in Cleveland with a really a, hardcore a, engineering department. It was in Case Western. It was Case Western? Oh, okay. Dean of the, the physics department. No, not the physics, the arts department. The dean of the arts department. Yeah, we walked in and. It was his birthday. Scared this guy on his birthday <laughs> because you're not allowed to have access to his office, but his one of his uh, underlings, a friend of ours, Caner, no. <laughs> uh, got us in there and. He was at his desk and he turns around and there's a banjo in his face and he's like, whoa! And then we started playing. And he, was, been worse. he was totally <laughs> taken back and then he like, you know, short, weird pause and then he smiled and he's like, that's great, you guys! Yeah. <laughs> Could that's you awesome. play another? And we did. When he stopped, he was like, oh! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. You know what I'm saying? He just kept making that smeared sound. <laughs> that was oh. yeah. um, Are you guys going to be coming back to Hookahville? So yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I think I think the uh, there is a possibility that we will do one of them this year. Okay. That's that's just what a little bird tells me. But <laughs> there's nothing in stone. But hopefully, we do yeah. get to. It's been a year since we. We've uh, had the opportunity to do that again, so yeah. Uh, we hope to get in on Spring Hooker. That's we've had the most fun with that one, but both of them are good, so yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. Cool. Uh, would you like to play a song? A couple sure. Do sure. you like playing songs? Let's you like playing Arkansas. songs. Let's do Arkansas River. <laughs> hey, sounds good. Yeah. One, two, one, two,
in my mountain. Oh. Excellent. Very, very nice. <laughs> um, now, you, you, you just put an album out this year, is that correct? Yes, Jump in the Get Down. When did that come out again? March 4th, is that correct? Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, March 4th. First Tuesday of March, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are you guys working on anything else right now, or are you just kind of riding that out for? Uh, currently, months? yeah. We when we started the Jump of the Get Down project, all the songs were pretty much done. There's yeah. not, there wasn't a whole lot of fresh material in that because mm -hmm. we've been touring so much and rehearsing live. So we've got uh, we're planning planning to do a live album soon. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and then we've got a couple other ideas uh, for two different records. Hopefully, the next. Uh, a couple of years to put out some more acoustic stuff, some more electric stuff. Yeah. I know you probably don't have to do much actual rehearsing because you play with like 200 shows a year or you used to. Or... You'd be surprised. <laughs> rehearsing is really important because that's really the only time we get to really work on new stuff and throw yeah. out ideas and like refine. Because when you're just playing live shows, it's go time, you know, and sure there's yeah. some stepping out a little bit and doing stuff you haven't done, but it's not like a rehearsal where that's the intention of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, we do good to when we have time off to you know keep ourselves working and, and working on the fresh stuff, which hopefully we can keep off the stage this time. So it'll be a surprise. Yeah, we get so <laughs> excited about these new songs, it's hard not to play them on the at the live show. But we've been better about that lately. So oh, hopefully the next C that comes out is a little more um, surprising to the to our fans than to the get down. Well, I mean, yeah, it's remotely right. familiar at best. Yeah, <laughs> remotely familiar. Um, what, what were some of the highlights for you guys from this past summer? I know festival season is always a busy time for you guys. You this, this last weekend was one of my favorite. Yeah, this last yeah. weekend was awesome. That was in the summertime, though. Yeah. Well, that's fine, too. I mean. um, <laughs> one of the festivals that really popped in my mind was uh, Rothbury. We didn't play. Oh. A few of us were at that festival oh. and checking it out, and that was one of the most amazing music festivals I've I, ever I've seen. I've just read the reviews for it. It was awesome. I mean. They were really all about being green, and they recycled a lot of things, yeah. and the music was really good. Yeah, that yeah. killed a lot of But the way that the whole thing just ran was just really, really super smooth, and it was their first year, and I don't think it's going to be their last. <laughs> for sure. And then we also, after that, we went to Mulberry Mountain Music Festival. Oh, okay, yeah. So that was a really good show. That was a good, good festival. It was good for the artist because it wasn't so crazy and crowded, but it was set up big, and everybody had. It was great for for the for the fans and the for the guests too because it wasn't so crowded. And they could, I don't know, it wasn't so crowded. Yeah. <laughs> Winfield was cool too. The resiliency of the festival because the festival grounds got flooded <coughs> out, and everyone you know just shifted to a new location without really planning it, and it <laughs> went off without a hitch. That was pretty amazing to see and be a part of too. Yeah. People were taking, you know, air mattresses across the lake to get to the other side and <laughs> jumping bikes into the water and all kinds of fun, cool stuff. The only downside to that was Winfield didn't sell any tickets because everyone went out to the lake. Gotcha. They should have <laughs> thought of that. If you're a picker, Winfield, Kansas is the place to be. Excellent. Tell your ride is really fun too. Oh yeah. Because we got to, to do a uh, four night run at a bar just you know that was a bizarre night and so it was like three nights of some really good rocking and one night of complete debauchery so yeah. <laughs> floor doors <laughs> yeah that was really fun cool uh, you want to play another tune let's pick huckleberry off of jumping the get down okay here we go it's huckleberry strangler
excellent. Um, where, where, where did the, the whole gorilla grass thing actually start? Zingalati. Zingalati for sure. Zingalati was a cruise we went on that was kind of hosted by the Flaming Lips. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and it was just kind of, I don't know, somebody else wanted this one. Wasn't, wasn't Vince Herman involved in yeah, some fashion? Yeah, but we, we, got, we kind of we, we met the guy who was the promoter when, when we were doing some shows for oh, okay. the Tour de Fat by New Belgium. Okay. And the guy that built their solar powered stage turned out to be the guy that was the promoter hmm. of, the, uh, of the show, which turned out to be our invitation onto the boat um, and a free license to pick anywhere and anytime we wanted on the entire ship. Nice. And that you know, we were just like, what, we get to go play on a cruise ship wherever we want? <laughs> so we did it, and then along the way, um, me and Zach actually were coming up some, some of those fancy stairs they have, and we heard Tarsano's voice talking to somebody. We went to see what he was doing, and he was with this guy with, like, big beard and long, like, salt and pepper hair. And I'm looking at him, like, is that? Look at him in the elevator room, right? He's like, yeah. He's like, go get your pickers and meet me in room blah, blah, blah. So we go down there and we picked with him in the room and then we just went out with him. Yeah. And then and then when we were out there, he's just like, we would take little breaks and get drinks and mess with people. And, and then when it was time to go, he'd be like, all right, let's go gorilla grass those fuckers. <laughs> and then and it was just, just kind of stuck from there. And then we started deploying it in places like Hookahville is where it kind of really shaped up in I, terms of the golf yeah, carts. And I remember that. you guys doing that. That was a great idea. That was where the land place. version of it happened. <laughs> the land <laughs> version. The roots are on a cruise ship. Yeah. yeah, that was very cool. Um, who do you consider some of your influences? Wow. I know that's probably all pretty hard. Anybody, anybody, everybody, everybody, honestly. Individual influences. Yeah. That, like, to, has come together and made Oakers have it sound. Yeah. yeah. We all have very different um, tastes in music that all kind of come together into a certain focal point and we just bring all of our influences together to create what we do. Yeah. We definitely all agree on some, some certain music. But but for the most part, knows. we couldn't really have more diverse <laughs> musical influences and artistic Pretty influences. Yeah. yeah, if we all had iPods and you looked at them randomly, you might not think we're all in the same band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, a good, that's a good thing. Put it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very good thing. thing. <laughs> cool. You want to play uh, one more song for us? Sure. Sure. Let's do one cool. more. Let's do uh, Jim and Nan. Sure. You want to do Jim and Nan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is called Jim and Nan. Not bad. <laughs>
Porchmusic.com, <laughs> Wikipedia, um, yeah. back in the Google Jones Jones newsletter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back cover of the <clears throat> Banjo newsletter September issue. Uh, <laughs> September issue. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, awesome, guys. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Have a good show tonight at the Matt Frog. Will do. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. No problem.